Good morning, everyone. It's June 15th on this Wednesday. I just rolled out of bed. If you can't tell by my sleepy voice and my sleepy eyes. I stayed up really late last night studying on my um, pharmacy licensure exam stuff. And I'm really tired. And I'm coming down here to make some breakfast because the goal of today, you know, I do have to work and everything. I want to do like a full day of eating for y'all. So... That's my plan, and that's what we're gonna go with today. And once again, I'm sorry if it's echoing a whole lot down here in my kitchen, because as I showed y'all in my last video, there's like no furniture or anything in this house <laughs> since my roommates moved out. But that's what we're gonna do is do a full day of eating, so we're gonna start with breakfast. So the first dilemma of the day is, do I want hot or cold coffee? decided to make it a hot one using my caribou blend Keurig coffee so I'm going to do that brew brew me up some coffee and then when that's done I'm just going to add a serving of this coffee mate salted caramel chocolate I've actually had this for a while I'm trying to use it up um, I've mentioned this before I I don't really care to get the fat-free versus the sugar-free, blah, 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 because the macros on it are really not that bad. I mean, for one serving, which is one tablespoon for a small cup of coffee, which is um, plenty, in my opinion, or at least that's all I need, is 1.5 grams of fat and five carbs. That's it, guys. And you don't skimp on flavor if you just get the normal kind. But, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna have a serving size of that and then one Truvia sugar packet. And I got four egg whites and plus one whole egg in here cooking up with just a little bit of Himalayan salt and pepper. Cooking up in the frying pan. I like to put a lid over this, especially when I have a yolk in there because it makes it, like poaches the top, kind of cooks the top, but the egg yolk doesn't cook and the bottom doesn't burn, so it kind of cooks more evenly. And then I like to bust the egg yolk and it makes it really good. And then over here I've got my... It's about three-fourths of a cup of just mixed berries. Got raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries in there that I'm going to eat alongside my eggs. Here's breakfast. Eggs cooked up. I already had them busted the egg yolk and spread it around so it's like a good, like, buttery egg yolk sauce. And got my paired blueberries or mixed berries on the side. And then I'm also eating some almonds this morning, just about a half a serving of the almond roasted dark chocolate kind by Blue Diamond. Mentioned this before, Blue Diamond makes a variety of all kinds of different flavors of almonds and they are so good. And it's only like one or two macro difference than real almonds. So if you want to get some flavor of your almonds and you don't like just regular roasted almonds, try these out. These are really good. Um, I think most grocery stores have them. Um, so I've only really only got half a serving in here. So about 12 to 14 almonds over there. So that cuts down on the fat that you see here, but these are healthy fats, so keep that in mind. Um, and it does cut down on the carbs and protein, but the macros on these are, you know, again, equivalent to just normal plain almonds, so get you some flavor. Get my coffee here, and I'm about to eat breakfast. And I have no bar stools, so I gotta stand up and eat. Okay, so it's 8.30, and I'm getting ready to leave my house to go to work, because I work today at 9 to 5. And so now I'm getting ready to pack my lunches and what all I'm going to bring for work today. And um, like my pre-workout and snacks and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get all that out of here. Out of the beach. Let's see, I got one more thing and then I'll show y'all what I'm getting. Gotta get my, gotta get my, my chocolate. Yeah, these help me. Had me a piece of dark chocolate um, after I eat lunch. Curved my chocolate craving. Just makes life more fun anyways, right? Okay, so I think I got everything. No, I need to get some. Gotta get some plastic forks. Let's see, I need a fork for lunch. And then I need a spoon for my yogurt and my other thing. I'll show y'all in just a second. Close that. Okay. And get my vitamins because I've got to transport those into my little container. It's kind of gloomy outside. I guess it's going to rain today. All right, let me cut on a light. So maybe y'all can see a little bit better. That's better. Okay. All right, so this is what I got lined up that I packed for 
lunch. Ooh, that lighting is bad. I'm sorry. Let's try this. Is that better? That's better. All right, so first of all, okay, so usually around 11 o'clock, since I'm going to leave at 5, try to eat like my mid-morning snack around 11 o'clock and then eat lunch around 1 or 2, and then, so I leave at 5. So about 2 to 3 hour increments. So for uh, my mid-morning snack, bring in my Greek yogurt, the strawberry cheesecake, uh, Dana Light and Fit, I'm gonna bring that. So I'm packing that right there. Um, I've got my lunch in here. Remember that was the, um, the chicken and avocado and spinach and quinoa. And then now what I was saying that I always put this right before I leave just because I don't want it to sit on all my already prepped salad so it doesn't saturate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a tablespoon of that OPA uh, Greek dressing that I showed y'all, the avocado cilantro. So just one tablespoon of that, which is half a serving. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there in just a sec. Um, my chocolate that I will eat after my lunch. And then I have my um, cream of rice with the cinnamon and stevia that I showed y'all in my meal prep as my pre-workout. So I try to eat this about 30 minutes before I leave the pharmacy because the gym is just right down the road. It's only like five minutes away. So it's like perfect timing, be about 45 to 30 minutes. I try to eat like a pre-workout carb, so that's what I'm taking here. Um, let's see, that's what I'm going to pack. And then, then I got the rest of my vitamins for today. I've already taken the morning ones, so then I'm going to take these and my lunch vitamins, and I transport it in this little portable, it's really like a pre-workout funnel, but I use this as a vitamin carrier that I got from like bodybuilding a long time ago. So I transport those into this, and that is what I carry in my purse. It's just easier um, carrying around instead of carrying that big old vitamin container. And then, you know, I got my gym bag all ready to go, and I got a bunch of aminos in there because I'm drinking 32 ounces of aminos now during my workouts. And that's it, guys. So I'm going to pack this up and... Get ready, go to work, and so I will see y'all after 5 o'clock today. day at the pharmacy. Um, it's 5 7 right now so I didn't have a chance to actually eat my pre-workout carb like I intended to about 30 minutes before I did leave. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat it now um, to at least go ahead and get it in my body because I still have to drive to the gym and change. So by the time I actually start working out it won't be till um, about 20 minutes later anyways, 20-30 minutes later. And again it's just one fourth of the cream of rice with cinnamon and uh, trivia so it's not a whole lot for my body to absorb um, in such a short amount of time and so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this I'm gonna take a pre-workout and then also get my aminos ready for my workout and I am training arms today I don't think I'll be able to film for y'all because again once again it's an arm day and upper body workout but Cody is working at the fire department so he's not here to film me it's five o'clock so that's prime time in the gym and it's really hard to set up my little mini tripod and my phone up in various areas to try to get a good workout um, footage for y'all and different angles and everything especially for arms because it's a lot of dumbbell and the free weight stuff um, but I promise eventually I will get an upper body workout recorded for y'all but it might not be today because today is mainly just focused on what I'm eating so anyways I'll see y'all in my post workout Alright, post-workout, I'm making me a protein shake, and I did half water, it's 8 ounces total in here, but I did half water and half unsweetened vanilla almond milk, one scoop of this chocolate molten whey protein by Cellucor, and then also 10 grams of glutamine also by Cellucor. So that's my post-workout shake. I have um, about a 5 ounce sweet potato here, and I sprinkled some cinnamon and I drizzled it with a little bit of this agave sweetener. I've mentioned this a lot in my videos. I really like this as a sweetener instead of like honey or sugar a lot of times. So I drizzled a little bit on top right there. And then I'm about to uh, measure out about one and a half ounces of pineapple. This is going to be another carb. It's going to be really sweet. So what I do is I put the entire container on there. I zero it out. And then once it zeroes out, then you pick out 
um, however much that you're looking for. So as I take it out, so I've already took out two pieces, that's 1.4 um, grams right there. Let's see what this little piece does. Let's, um, I'm gonna take out just this one other piece. So I'm gonna be over a little bit, um, 4.5 ounces. Um, this is ounces, I'm sorry, not grams. So ounces right there. So I'm just gonna take out 1.8 ounces and all this together is gonna be my post workout and then I have one more meal later on tonight. Last meal of the night is six to eight giant, God, these things are so big, but it's like fatter in my finger. Asparagus spears with a little bit of salt and pepper and some like blackening season I put on there. Um, to kind of go along with some of the blackening seasoning that I put on my fish. So this is just the four ounce of the flounder fish that I cooked up this Sunday. And this is going to be my last meal of the night. So that's going to conclude my full day of eating. It's 9.15 right now and I'm about to start to sit down and start studying. Joy! Actually, first I'm going to go ahead and upload the video from Sunday of my um, like grocery haul and meal prep. So hopefully I can get that uploaded either tonight or tomorrow. And then I can start working on um, this one and hopefully get this one done for you as well. But I'm also planning on studying too, so while that's uploading, that's what I'm going to do. So that's going to be the end of um, this day. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope I gave you all some ideas about um, some different things you could eat and kind of just, you know, if you were just interested in what I was um, planning on doing. So I'm actually going to be eating this for the next, uh, like, three to four weeks. So I probably won't do, like, another full day eating for a really long time because I'm going to try to stick to stick to this for about three to four weeks. It's just really easier for me to stick to a set meal plan. Um, I may change up the meats and the vegetables, but basically it's going to be the exact same for like four weeks. But it's just really easier for me to follow a structured meal plan, especially with my crazy hectic schedule. And I'm about to start to have to travel for my rotations or my my pharmacy rotations um, with Walgreens. So I'm going to have to start traveling a lot with that. So it's just going to be easier for me in the long run. And the more consistent you are with your diet, uh, as far as what you eat, um, the more, the better and faster you'll see results. And so I'm trying to see how this meal plan is going to act um, for my body and what I'm going for and my goals. And then we'll talk about changing it up later. But for now, this is what I'll be eating for about a month and we'll see uh, how that goes. Anyways, hope y'all have a great night and a great rest of the week and weekend, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.